Hi, this is Marta. In this video, I will show you beautiful Max Lang attack game. This is the game between Kovalenko and Serpuk Hovitinov. Game was played in Moscow, Russia, in 1982. It started with e4. Black played e5. Knight to f3, attacking the pawn. Knight to c6, defending. Bishop to c4. Knight to f6, and we have two knights defense. White played d4, e takes d4, and white castled. Black played the bishop to c5, defending his pawn, and in this position, white played e5, attacking the knight. Instead of moving the knight to g4 or playing something else, black played d5, counter attacking, is attacking the bishop. White takes the knight, pawn takes bishop, and what would you play in this position? This is the most obvious and the best move, rook to e1, check. Black played king to f8, but let's check what would happen if bishop to e6 was played. So this is the main line, let's check the main line. Then knight to g5 would be played, queen to d5, knight to c3 attacking the queen, and uh, in case if pawn takes, then queen takes on d5 and black loses because bishop is pinned. That's why after knight to c3, black would play queen to f5, knight from c to e4, white, uh, sorry, black castled queen side, and believe it or not, the strongest move in this position is g4, weakening his castled king's position, but that's the strongest move, and uh, game is very complicated, white is slightly better, but black is not without a chance. Ok, but in our game today, black played king to f8, it followed by bishop to g5, the plan is very simple, to capture the pawn on g7 with check and then to capture the queen. That's why black played the queen to d7, and uh, Black thought that he is ok in, in this position. Well, he is ok except for one move that white can play. Every other move that white, can, white would play would be, the game would be about equal. But white has this move that gives him advantage. What is the move? What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? Well, the move is bishop to h6. Did you see this one coming? Well, the threat is bishop takes on g7, but of course, black can take the bishop and that's what he did. What is the idea behind this? The idea is queen to d2, and this is what white is planning. Queen takes on h6, we check, and after king goes to g8, he can't go to e8. After king goes to g8, then queen to g7 is checkmate. That's why black played queen to g4. White continued with his plan, this is check. King goes to g8, and of course it's true that queen is now protecting uh, from checkmate on a g7, but there is another problem in the black camp. Can you see what is the problem? What would you play now if you had white pieces? Well, this is the move. Rook to e8, check, and black resign in this position, because the only defense, which is bishop to f8, doesn't work, white can take it with the queen or with the rook, and to give checkmate. Isn't that interesting game? Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that you enjoyed it.